Morning guys, how's it going? Uh, today's brought to you by the sun. Chris Mornings. Rubber. <laughs> and kitty contemplations of the navel. Okay, so people are really obsessed about labels, particularly in the kink world, especially when you're starting. It's all about, you know, what are you? Are you a top, a bottom, a sub, a slave, master, dom, daddy, little girl, little boy, mommy, caregiver, all that sort of stuff. People get caught up all in labels, terminology, blah, blah, blah. So it comes, it becomes really interesting, particularly um, with when I was starting out, the whole role of primal. Um, I just put myself down as evolving because that just, if people can be bothered to talk to me, find out who I really am, then they can come and chat. Otherwise, they can just stay with their labels. However, it comes interesting when people say, okay, how does that work? Do you have an alpha? Uh, I said, no, I don't have an alpha. <laughs> I actually have a master um, um, and an owner and so they said well how does that work you know your primal what what I'm like well it works because it just does and being primal and the type of primal I am means that to me alphas primal predators and a lot of those people they okay the difference with primal and feral is that primals have a little bit more control however they can still go feral with with that and attaching you know what i've seen how people identify themselves with the labels they will also yeah like i said they will also go feral so which means that to me for the kind of primal I am that way of control is unsafe for me the, the title makes them a bit unsafe for me um, not saying that I will be hurt by them but for um, a long term kind of DS relationship and you can have DS relationships being primal um, is that they do not have enough self-control, sense of self, um, calmness or inner cool that I require for myself. Um, and very few people do for me. <laughs> for other people, it, it can be different, you know. Uh, it depends on what complements, what clashes and what you're willing to compromise on. Three C's, wow, okay. What compliments, what clashes, and what you can compromise on. A lot of this goes into respect, getting to know people, and all that jazz. So how it works with me is that I'm a primal. I recognize and respect the control and inner cool of my owner. Um, and quite a few people, or very few people, um, uh, I'll be able to recognize their inner cool and control calmness in a primal state. Um, this comes from having exerting a lot of control, being primal in of the feral aspect um, of myself. So control is a big thing, which I guess makes it even more important in regard to DS and all that. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't challenge and go feral occasionally. <laughs> I will challenge uh, my owner on the occasion. It's not like a, a physical thing. It can be a mental thing. It can be a, a principal thing. It can be a lot of things. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. It doesn't have to be in play. It has to be in general. Um, and and we do find each other challenging, not in a bad way, but in a good way that helps us you know, extend and get curious about each other, about life, you know, everything. So um, I guess that can make it hard for people to understand about, you know, how can a primal have a, a master or owner? How does DS work with a primal and a non-primal? 
um, it just does. Uh, they have more controlled aggression than I do. I just say aggression in a general sort of sense. It's not that they, they beat me or anything like that, but they, I recognise that they have a certain level um, of, I don't know, more primal, animalistic, uh, you know, control over what they have. And some people say, oh, well, you know, they, they lose control and blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, but, you know, you're not looking at that. You can look at some things as a way of, are there, is somebody losing control or do they have a lot of control? Now, that is a different, different point of view, different angles, being that if someone has a temper tantrum and throws a few things around, people go, oh my God, they've lost control, they're crazy, blah, blah, blah. I go, yeah, okay. You can look at it that way. However, if you look at a person and their capabilities, this is anybody, really, person and their capabilities, is that, you know, um, losing their temper briefly, walking away, um, is that more a, a example of control? Morning cat, then it is their lack of control because out of all the things human beings could do to each other, they choose to throw and break a few things and walk away as opposed to a lot of other people who beat the living shit out of each other just because they've lost it. I mean, seriously can you look at it that way not condoning any violence or anything like that it's just a different perspective on a lot of things um because i see people criticize other people all the time um and they just have no idea about a lot of things like the background of people their capabilities what's going on in their life and they don't think about that i mean it's so easy to go along with the crowd and just condemn somebody rather than actually, you know, reach out and figure out what's going on or be open-minded and listen. So, getting back to mismatching of roles. There doesn't... You don't have to be in a complementary complimentary role to be in the DS relationship. You don't have to say, oh, mummy, daddy or little or master slave you can have masters and submissives you can have masters and bottoms you have masters and primal prey you can have masters and kingsters just things like that morning Henrika it doesn't I mean labels are handy as I said for guides and to help people navigate through around each other and get a general idea what people are about but then there comes a point where you just got to throw them all away <laughs> and just go you know what they're just they're just them and this is what they like um so whether you are primal top bottom prey predator master slave submissive status masochist kingstar evolving whatever when it comes down to it you are just you and that's who you should be to your fullest perfect beautiful extent um, exploring those bits of you those other bits of you the many different bits of you whatever proportion they are in you um, <laughs> have fun with it don't cling to those labels um, because you are more than just a label you are a label puree. <laughs> Your recipe. I think maybe, maybe you should think about the labels that you've put on yourself and other people have put on you. Write down your recipe. What are you a little bit of, a little bit of that? Don't just include kink recipes, uh, kink labels in the recipe. Include other things like, you know, mother, father, sister, daughter, worker, public servant, your occupation, everything, um, counsellor, do you listen to people who are having issues with their fams and stuff like that, you know, think about that, think about all those things that make up you, and when it comes down to it, there's a lot of things that make you up, how beautiful is that, and then think about the things that make up everybody else, they're not very one dimensional, they're not like these stupid labels that they come up with, <laughs> cis white male kingsters all that sort of stuff you can you can have that as a part of your makeup having it be most of your makeup the less 
more you identify I guess with one particular label the less dimensions you have I guess I like shape round is a shape round is awesome most efficient shape put it all up in a ball ball up yourself don't have to be a square or a flat piece of paper or things with pointy bits but you can be if you like but yeah think about that what you label yourself what others label you what labels you apply yourself what your your recipe for you is how you mix that up um and you, by all means use those labels if it helps other people understand you but yeah be evolving and live life in a good way anyway i think i've rambled on enough label puree mix matching of you know ds labels kinkster labels kink labels whatever sometimes it just works you don't know why you don't know how it just works okay see you later guys bye